welcome to Wicked Majesty. Your guide to the dark and chilling tales on the Wicked Majesty channel. Welcome to the fourth day of terror in the Holiday Nights of Terror series, where we'll unwrap two bone chilling Christmas horror stories Snowman's Revenge and The Ornaments of Spirits, narrated by Anthony Cook and Helena Decker. First up, in the peaceful town of Frostville, a seemingly innocent snowman takes a sinister turn. Built by kids with innocent intentions, this frosty creation turns vengeful, causing chaos and a fear in Frostville. Join the townsfolk as they face a raffled snowman and discover how a simple act of kindness unravels its reign of terror. Then prepare to be enchanted by the ornaments of spirits in a quaint town of Harmonyville. Antique Christmas ornaments hold more than nostalgia. They harbor a spirit of those who once celebrated Christmas joyfully. But when a gust of wind shatters these delicate relics, vengeful ghosts are unleashed. Watch as a family struggles to appease the spirits and learns the true meaning of Christmas. Hit that subscribe button, gather your courage, and join me, Kia Reed, on the Wicked Majesty channel. It's time to unveil the fourth day of terror in the Holiday Nights of Terror series. May your nightmares be wicked, and your holidays be haunted. In the peaceful town of Frostville, a group of kids decided to build a snowman one chilly winter day. They rolled up three large snowballs, stacked them on top of each other, and adorned it with a carrot nose, coal eyes, and a crooked smile. Little did they know, their creation was about to come to life. As night fell, the temperature dropped, and a strange glow enveloped the snowman. It began to move, its coal eyes flickering with an eerie light. But this was no friendly Frosty. This snowman was angry, bitter about its temporary existence, and it sought revenge. The first sign of trouble came when Mr. Johnson found his car buried under a mountain of snow. Then, Miss Peterson woke up to find her entire house encased in ice. Each morning brought new chaos, all seemingly caused by the vengeful snowman. Fear spread through Frostville as the snowman's antics escalated. The once cheerful neighborhood was now filled with dread. Children were kept indoors, and adults watched the snowman warily from their windows. One night, the snowman went too far. It froze the town's water supply, leaving Frostville without heat or drinking water. The townsfolk knew they had to act. They decided to confront the snowman, armed with shovels and blow torches. But the snowman was ready for them. It grew in size, towering over the houses, its cold eyes burning with fury. The townsfolk attacked, but their efforts were in vain. The snowman was too powerful. Just when all hope seemed lost, little Susie stepped forward. She approached the snowman, not with a weapon, but with a scarf she had knitted herself. She wrapped it around the snowman's neck, saying, Even if you're only here for a while, you could still be happy. The snowman paused, its fury fading. It looked at Susie, then at the scarf, and something changed. The glow with its eyes softened, and it began to shrink. By morning, it was just a regular snowman again, its reign of terror over. From that day forward, Frostville was peaceful once more. But every winter, 
When the first snow fell, the townsfolk would remember the snowman's revenge. They learned to appreciate the beauty of temporary things and to treat all creatures, even snowmen, with kindness and respect. The Ornament of Spirits In the quaint town of Harmonyville, there stood an ancient house. This house had been passed down through generations, and with it a box of antique Christmas ornaments. These were no ordinary decorations. They held within them the spirits of those who had once celebrated Christmas with joy and laughter. Every Christmas, the current residents would hang these ornaments on their trees. The spirits within them would come alive, filling the house with warmth and happiness. But one fateful Christmas, everything changed. The family had just finished decorating the tree. The last ornament, a delicate glass angel, was about to be placed on the top. Suddenly, a gust of wind blew through the open window, knocking the tree over. The ornament shattered into countless pieces and the room fell silent. Then, something unexpected happened. In the broken shards, ghostly figures began to emerge. They were not the joyful spirits the family knew. These were vengeful ghosts, angry for being disturbed from their peaceful rest. The lights flickered as the temperature dropped. The family huddled together, their eyes wide with fear. The ghosts floated around the room, their eerie wails echoing off the walls. They were trapped inside the house with nowhere to run. Days turned into nights, and nights into days. The family tried everything they could to appease the spirits. They sang Christmas carols, baked cookies, and even tried to repair the broken ornaments. But nothing worked. The ghosts remained, haunting them relentlessly. Finally, on the eve of the new year, the youngest member of the family had an idea. They suggested that they should celebrate Christmas one more time, just like the spirits used to when they were alive. With hope in their hearts, the family decorated a new tree with homemade ornaments. They cooked a grand feast and invited everyone in town to join them. As the clock struck midnight, the house filled with laughter and cheer. The ghosts watched as the family celebrated, their anger slowly fading away. One by one, they began to disappear, returning to the shards of the broken ornaments. By morning, the house was quiet once again. The vengeful spirits were gone, leaving behind only the memories of a Christmas they would never forget. From that day forward, the family vowed to celebrate every Christmas with love and joy, honoring the spirits who once did the same. And so, the tale of the haunted Christmas ornaments serves as a chilling reminder. It tells us that even in the face of fear, the spirit of Christmas can bring peace and unity. But remember, always handle your Christmas ornaments with care, for you never know what spirits they might hold within. chilling journey through all seven days of terror in the Holiday Nights of Terror series. If tonight's story sent shivers down your spine, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the Wicked Majesty channel, and turn on the notification bell. Stay wicked, stay haunted, and I'll see you on the next dark tale on the Wicked Majesty channel. Until then, sleep tight, and don't let the shadows bite.